All seven New Hampshire Boys and Girls Clubs provide members with assistance in academics, physical fitness, leadership, social skills, and anything else they need to become healthy and productive citizens. I'm Jenny Johnson for Comcast Newsmakers at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. And joining me today is Chris Emond, Executive Director of the Boys and Girls Club of Concord. Welcome to the program, Chris. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I think pretty much everyone out there knows what the Boys and Girls Club is. But for those that don't, what does a Boys and Girls Club do? Well, we provide after school programs and summer day camp programs for kids 6 to 18 years old. And we provide basically mentoring programs opportunities in a safe place. So what's the difference between the Boys and Girls Clubs and other uh, mentoring organizations? I'd say the big thing is we see them five days a week uh, during the school year and of course during the summer we'll see them 11 hours a day from 7 to 6 at night. So uh, as far as consistency in time where there we see them a lot. So these are serious relationships that you're developing. Give me a sense of what happens over the course of a day. Oh, you name it. Uh, you know, we have arts and crafts programs. We have again mentoring programs. Kids can enroll in leadership programs. Summer day camp, we can do things like an art program where the kids will go out and paint all kinds of beach scenes. And uh, of course, we live here in New Hampshire, so they can go out and do some landscape uh, scenes. It's, it's fantastic. We have a program called Expedition Bound where they'll really stretch uh, their capabilities of rock climbing and going up the mountains and biking downhill and all of those kind of things. So the options are really endless. Now, how, how individualized can things become and how are things you know, sort of created for the, for the individual child? It's surprisingly individual given the hundreds of kids that we see every day. Our staff have been around for a long time. Our tenured staff in Concord have been there for an average of seven years. So they really know the kids. I would say that's another big difference is we're there every year, year after year with some of the same kids. Mm -hmm. So we do get to know their unique needs. A lot of that is those discussions that you'll have. The activities are kind of just that, they're mm -hmm. activities. Mm -hmm. But the s discussions that you can have or some kid might say, I had a bad day, I need to talk to you in your office. We can do that and those are the, those are the conversations that really end up being life changing. Absolutely, now how are the clubs funded? Uh, a variety of ways. Um, we do a lot of fundraising, uh, event fundraisers like golf tournaments and TV auctions and so on and so forth. Uh, we do ask kids to pay tuition, and that varies uh, at the Boys and Girls Club in Concord. It starts at $60 a week. It goes down to zero. We have quite a few kids that don't pay anything. Um, we do individual giving, which is essentially asking donors to, to give uh, funds for scholarship programs and financial aid. Tell me a, a success story. I mean, I'm sure you have so many, but so many, but just share one with us. Well, you know, we have, I do have so many. Uh, you know, again, I've been there for 13 years, so I've seen kids right from the first day at their club and there was one individual named Dion where he will, he will first, he'll attest to this. He said, my first day was almost my last. He almost, he caused the bus to be evacuated. His behavior was just so challenging. Um, but he was just this scared, big six-year-old kid. Mm -hmm. You know, you fast forward of endless talks and endless discussions. Yeah, he had to, we evacuated the bus. We sat down with him. We said, you know, you can't do that here. However, we want you to come back. You're going to have to take a couple days off, but we want you to come back. And that's what the Boys and Girls Club is all about, is giving people second and third chances. Well, that young man is now 15 years old. He is now much taller than me and much bigger <laughs> than me. And, you know, you think about that. He could have been a very difficult 16-year-old that's very big. Instead, he's, you know, he's harmless. He's but a, it's that commitment that you've made to all these It is that commitment, kids. and he's enrolled in all kinds of things. The drama program, of all things, he plays football. Um, he was our Youth of the Year, which is almost like being the student body president. That's a great story. Okay, so for people watching, how can they sign their child up or find out more about the clubs? They can see us at ConcordKids.org, which is our website, and I know there are seven other clubs, so... They'll find some They'll way find to it. get in touch. Thank you That's so right. much for being here, Thank Chris. Thank you. Thank you for watching Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Jenny Johnson.